You might think you know what foxes look like. You might think you know how they behave. And to a certain extent, you do. But guess what? There's a far wider variety of foxes than you might have realized, and some of them are truly incredibly odd. These are foxes you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Fennec Fox we are going to start things off with the smallest fox in the world, the fennec fox. But its small stature is not the thing this animal is most famous for. That would be its absolutely enormous ears. These six inch long ears kind of look like some kind of dress up costume the little fox has borrowed from a bigger friend. But they are very useful to these animals. and not just providing them with better hearing. Fennec foxes live in North Africa, and even though they are nocturnal, things can still get pretty hot during the day. The big ears act like heat sinks, drawing body heat out and keeping the animal nice and cool. The Sahara can get a little chilly at night, but they have plenty of light-colored fur to help deal with that. They even have furry paws, which work like snowshoes and protect the fox from scalding sand, as well as being excellent for digging, which is useful as these foxes like to live in underground burrows. They live in groups of around 10 and will forage for plants as well as prey upon rodents, eggs, reptiles, and insects. And they can go a long time without water. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. We'd now like to talk to you about a legend. A legend that many moons ago, way back in the day, a real nine-tailed fox used to exist. Such a creature features in Chinese mythology, and it's possible that the Pokemon Ninetales is based on said creature. But some people think real nine-tailed foxes used to exist. Many people believe the theory to this day, and still think the nine-tailed fox might be out there somewhere hiding from humanity for some reason. While some think it's extinct, what do you think? Is it extinct, still out there, or did it just never exist? Let us know. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic. And let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14, Arctic Fox. The Arctic fox lives in pretty much the total opposite environment to its cousins down in the Sahara. This fox lives way up in the Arctic Circle and is perfectly adapted for life in the tundra. The first thing about this fox that lets you know it's a cold weather specialist is its extra thick and warm coat, which is also white, helping it to blend in with snowy surroundings. The tail is particularly large and fluffy. Life being tough in the tundra, the large majority of arctic foxes do not make it past their first year. Those that do make it to adulthood will feed on lemmings, voles, ringed seal pups, fish, waterfowl, and seabirds. They will also eat carrion, berries, seaweed, and insects, and other small invertebrates to supplement their hunting. Like most foxes, they live in underground dens and complex social groups, and usually mate with the same partner for life, and other family members help out with raising young. They are far from the top of the food chain though, and wolverines, red foxes, wolves, polar bears, golden eagles, and grizzly bears can be bad news for these foxes. Number 13. Red Fox Speaking of red foxes and a fantastic Mr. Fox, we should take a look at that fox next. The red fox is definitely best known of all the foxes. In fact, it's the most widespread carnivore in the entire world, living in North America, Europe, and Asia, plus parts of North Africa. If you've never seen one of these, you probably just aren't looking around very much, as it's even become an invasive species in Australia. The massive explosion in human population has been great news for red foxes, as they tend to follow us wherever we go, living nearby and feeding off the massive amounts of waste food we produce, as well as the other species that love to live with humans, mice and rats. The red fox is also one of the biggest foxes, but this doesn't stop them falling prey to wolves, large felines, 
lions, coyotes, and jackals. They have been trapped for fur for thousands of years, and now that this is considered cruel by many, efforts are underway to domesticate the fox, with the idea of building a new human fox future, especially in Russia. Number 12. Marble Fox the marble fox isn't made of marble, but you might be thinking this is some mythical creature from a fantasy story. But this native to Canada and Alaska is very real, although it's not a naturally occurring fox, but rather the result of a breeding program by humans who crossed red and silver foxes to create a fox with an amazing coat. Their fur is even thicker than the arctic fox, and has fantastic color, usually cream with streaks of black, tan, or gray, just like marble. They also have even more intelligence than the average fox, which is already a super smart animal. Ever heard the expression, cunning like a fox? Some people like to keep marble foxes as exotic pets, and this is outlawed in some states, but legal in others. Even though they have been bred by humans, they are not domesticated and will have wild instincts. You don't want to find this out the hard way if you happen to also have kittens or chickens around your home. They are not the best pets in the end, but they are still incredible animals to look at. Number 11. Bat-Eared Fox This fox looks a little like our fennec fox from earlier, and these guys do indeed live fairly close by, finding their home on the African savanna. Like the fennec, these foxes have huge ears that make them look kinda like a bat, so someone called it the bat-eared fox. Good work, naming committee. Some people also call them the big-eared fox, which is even more creative and ingenious, if you ask me. Because of its ears and unusual teeth, it has been given its own genus. So this is a fox who is very much a special snowflake, not like any of the other foxes. They don't live in the desert, though, and prefer short grassland, which has led to the more mixed and darker coloring, which helps out with camouflage in that environment. They live in dens like most foxes, and this provides shelter from high winds or other extreme weather. One other thing that makes this fox unique is that it is the only fox which is insectivorous. 90% of its diet is termites, ants, beetles, crickets, grasshoppers, millipedes, moths, scorpions, and spiders. Number 10. Silver Fox we are back to George Clooney again as we talk about the silver fox. No, wait a minute, we are getting sidetracked with people's fantasies about gray-haired older men. The literal silver fox is really a thing, and in fact it is the melanistic form of the red fox. Some silver foxes are in fact completely black, but more commonly there's a mix of black and white fur, which gives it a silver appearance. These foxes have long been the most valued for their pelts, due to the rarity. <laughs> Nobles through Europe and China wore silver fox fur as a sign of their mighty superiority over the toothless peasant masses they tended to own like slaves. So that's cool of them to let us know who they are. On the other hand, the native peoples of North America considered the silver fox to be a powerful spirit animal and had many stories concerning the silver fox. In fact, the silver fox was considered kind of the good guy who created the land while the trickster coyote was napping. Number 9. Cross Fox if the silver fox isn't enough for ya, then there is also a kind of fox known as the cross fox. This is the product of mating a silver fox with a regular red fox, and the offspring has a mix of red and black fur, which looks pretty cool. The coloration usually involves a long dark stripe running along the back with another stripe running crosswise, making a cross. So they called it a cross fox. It is more common than the silver fox, especially in northern Canada where there are quite a lot of them. Apart from their color, cross foxes are identical to red foxes in their physical characteristics. The pelts of these foxes were not considered as valuable as those of the silver fox, but more than that of the regular red fox, and the darker the pelt, the more valuable. Back in the 19th century, Britain imported 3,500 cross fox pelts a year, which would then go on sale at auction houses and fetch prices of around 4 to 5 guineas, far more than the regular 15 shilling price given that in old British money there was 21 shillings in a guinea and a shilling was 5 pence. Number 8. Grey Fox 
The gray fox is a pretty common sight through North and Central America and is easily recognized by its distinctive gray coat and cute features. In the Pacific states, it is even more common than the red fox. <laughs> And once upon a time, this was true in the eastern states too, but human advancement has favored the red fox. This fox first appeared in North America some 3.6 million years ago, living alongside extinct mammals like the giant sloth and the giant headed llama. One of this fox's special abilities is that it can climb trees, meaning it is the only canid able to do this apart from the distantly related Asian raccoon dog. Its strong hooked claws are perfect perfect for tree climbing, and this gives it an extra chance of finding food and also escaping predators like coyotes and dogs. This is a nighttime fox and sometimes makes it stand 30 feet in the air up a tree. Its favorite food is the eastern cottontail, which is America's most common rabbit species, but it will also eat rodents, jackrabbits, voles, shrews, and birds. Number 7. Darwin's Fox this is one of the rarest foxes on our list, and it is considered to be an endangered species. Darwin's fox is a small fox found in Nahuelbuta National Park, Chile. As you might guess from the name, this fox was collected by the famous naturalist Charles Darwin when he made his voyage to South America to study and discover the wildlife there back in 1834. Even though it was called a fox, it is now considered not to be part of the fox family and is more closely related to wolves. They are considered to be curious and not really afraid of people, which was bad news for the one Darwin decided to take home as a specimen. This is what his his journal said. The fox of Chilol, a rare animal, sat on the point and was so absorbed in watching, surveying work, that he allowed me to walk behind him and actually kill him with my geological hammer. That same fox is now on display at the Zoological Museum of London. There are only around 600 of these animals left in the wild, and they are often killed as pests by humans, and the majority of their habitat has also recently been destroyed. Number 6. Colpeo Sticking with South America, we have picked out the Colpeo as our next fox, a little like the Darwin's fox. This is actually more of a jackal or wolf relative in spite of its name, which is the Colpeo fox or the Andean fox. The good news is that this animal is pretty abundant and it is South America's second largest canid species after the maned wolf. It's pretty similar looking to the red fox though, so you can see why people thought it was a fox for a long time. They like to eat rodents, rabbits, birds, and lizards, but they also have a bad habit of attacking sheep when they are hungry, which usually leads to a bunch of angry farmers heading out to catch and kill them. This animal was actually once domesticated, and from them we had a domestic dog called the Fujian dog. Although this dog species is now extinct, it lives in Ecuador and Peru, right the way down to Patagonia and Tierra del Fuego, and is most often found on the slopes of the Andes Mountains. Number 5. Bengal Fox the Bengal fox is endemic to the Indian subcontinent, and it ranges from the foothills of the Himalayas and the Terai of Nepal, all the way down to southern India. It's a pretty small fox with a large nose and fairly big ears, although nothing on the scale of the fennec fox. The tail is long and bush, and the color ranges from buff to silvery gray. They are also well known for producing a wide range of vocalizations and for being excellent communicators. Their most famous sound is a kind of chattering cry which seems to be used to establish territory or as a warning to other foxes. They growl, whimper, whine, and bark, as well as howling, yapping, and baying sounds they make when humans are near. This fox, like many others, is sometimes prone to disease and rabies is still common in India, which often affects this species. Hunting this species is illegal in India, but poaching can be a serious problem and habitat destruction is also a major threat, although for now they are considered to have a stable population throughout its range. Number 4. Kit Fox 
Did you know a baby fox is called a kit, and a male is known as a dog, while the females are known as vixens? The kit is a cute and tiny breed that got its name because even the adults look like baby kit foxes or other kinds of fox. In fact, kit foxes are the smallest foxes in North America, and they too have pretty huge ears. They have a gray color with some rust tones and a black-tipped tail. They also have a patch on their nose. They mainly live down in the southwest and in Mexico, they aren't found further north than the arid interior of Oregon, nor any further east than the western parts of Colorado. But if you live in Nevada, Utah, southeastern California, Arizona, New Mexico, and western Texas, there's a good chance you might spot a kit fox one day, as long as you're willing to go looking at night, as they tend to be nocturnal like a lot of foxes. They like to eat kangaroo rats, cottontail rabbits, black-tailed jackrabbits, meadow voles, hares, prairie dogs, insects, lizards, snakes, fish, and ground-dwelling birds, but will also eat tomatoes and cactus fruits. Number 3. Crab-Eating Fox the crab-eating fox is endemic to the central parts of South America and is a relative of the Culpio and Darwin's fox. It's a pretty common animal in the region and is not considered to be under any kind of threat for now. These foxes have been around a long time, at least 6 million years. They live in savannas, woodlands, forests, and plains, ranging from Colombia and Venezuela down to Paraguay, Uruguay, and northern Argentina in the south. They have recently been spotted living in Panama too. This fox is easy to domesticate and farm, but perhaps luckily its fur is not considered very desirable by humans, so it has been more or less left to carry on as normal out in the wild. As you might be able to guess, this fox is a specialist crab hunter and spends a lot of time hunting for crabs on muddy foot plains during the wet season. Outside of the wet season, it eats insects, along with the regular fox diet of rodents and other small mammals. Number 2. Hoary Fox Another fox that's not really a fox from South America is the hoary fox. These foxes have a short muzzle and small teeth, with a shorter coat adapted for the warm climate of Brazil, where it mainly lives. They are gray in color with a cream underside and a black tipped tail. These are very slender foxes, making them some of the most agile canids, and they can run very fast. They are specialist insect hunters, and their teeth are better adapted for eating insects than the usual fox diet of small mammals, they are nocturnal and live in open woodlands, bushlands, tropical savanna, or other kinds of savanna where there are trees. Like all foxes, the hoary fox needs a good den to live in, but they are kind of into squatting more than digging and building their own dens. So they usually go looking for armadillo dens, and then just kind of move on in, which must be pretty annoying for the armadillo that spent all that time digging it. The females will usually give birth to two to four pups in late summer and early fall. Number 1. Swift Fox the swift fox is a small breed of fox that is of comparable size to the domestic cat. They live in North America and have a dark, grayish coat with some tan coloration. The legs and sides then blend to a kinda yellow tan shade. The throat, chest, and belly can be white, but also a pale yellow. Like a lot of foxes, they have a black tip tail, and they also tend to have a black patch on their muzzles. Males are a little bit bigger than females, although in many fox species, the males and females are the same size. You can find the swift fox across the Great Plains, especially in Montana, Colorado, New Mexico, Kansas, Oklahoma, Wyoming, Nebraska, and Texas. But you'll have to be fast because they're, uh, well, they're swift, obviously. Really swift? They can run at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. They are also very social creatures and spend most of the daytime underground in their dens during summer months. In winter, they occasionally come above ground during the day, but they generally like to avoid predators. Rabbits, mice, ground squirrels, birds, insects, and lizards are their main foods, but they will also eat fruits and grasses. What did you think of all these amazing foxes on our list? Do you have any cool foxes living in your region of the world? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!